Hi everyone. In this lesson we'll be looking at human and animal remains that have been found in Pompeii. Now, as we all know, there was a massive volcanic eruption 2000 years ago that destroyed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum and people got killed. But you've got to remember the whole process actually took about 18 hours for the volcano to erupt and spew out all the lava and everything. It took about 18 hours. So there was time for people to escape and some people did escape. But unfortunately, some people made the mistake of trying to hide at home in the house or in a room and they got killed. So we do have some human remains and some animal remains in Pompeii. And we've also got some other organic material that's been preserved. And that's what we'll be looking at in this lesson. Now, Pompeii had about 15 to 20,000 people. So it was a good sized city for the time, although it's very small compared to modern cities today. Many may may have escaped the eruption, but some unfortunately were still killed. Pompeians ha Pompeii has many plaster casts of people and animals who have died. Estelle Laser is an Australian archaeologist and physical anthropologist from Sydney University. She has studied the remains from Pompeii and made some interesting conclusions. The conventional belief is that the people who died were very old, very young, women and those too sick or too weak to escape. But Estelle Laser believes the victims are a good representation of the population. So we can study these human remains and we can learn so much about these people who lived 2000 years ago. We can get an idea of their, their health and what medical problems they may have had. We can study their teeth and see whether they had tooth decay. We can learn so much from, about them from these human remains. She also believes that there were more children among the victims, but their bones have, may have not have survived. So naturally a child is smaller, their bones are smaller. So she thinks there might have been more children, but the bones have just decayed over the centuries. The bones from Pompeii show that the people of Pompeii were well nourished and similar in size to the people who live in Naples today. So Naples today is a, a, a big city of about 3 million people located not far from Pompeii and I've been to Naples and you can see Mount Vesuvius when you go to Naples and you look out over the water you can see Mount Vesuvius from Naples. The average woman that she has studied was 154 centimetres tall. The average man was 167 centimetres. About 10% of the skeletons show some form of arthritis some showing the form of arthritis that's associated with old age. About 11% of the female skeletons reveal symptoms of a minor hormonal disorder called hyperostosis frontalis interna, a condition which today occurs mostly in postmenopausal women. So this gives us an idea, along with other evidence, that people in Pompeii were living to quite an old age. They were living at least until their 50s and 60s. So people back in those days could still live a long life and live healthily and comfortably. Many of the skulls examined by laser have teeth which show considerable wear compared to teeth to today. Some are worn down to the gum line, exposing the nerve, which must have been a very painful condition. The wearing down of teeth was probably caused by traces of grit and stone in the bread which came from the millstones used to grind the wheat into flour. Some teeth have cavities and others have a heavy buildup of plaque. There are signs of gum disease and accesses related to decayed teeth. There is no sign of dental intervention such as extractions, fillings, crowns and false teeth. So, this would indicate that those particular skeletons may not, have, may not have been getting much dental care. Maybe there were other people in Pompeii who were wealthier, who did get dental care, but those particular people who have been found were not receiving any dental care and um, they didn't have a, a lot of access to that sort of medical treatment. But nevertheless, we can still get an insight into the people of Pompeii at the time and we can, because we can study them, we get an idea of what it was like in the ancient Roman world. So it's been quite interesting to look at these ancient human remains from Pompeii.